How did a three-year-old boy solve his own murder? In a region near the border of Syria known as Golan Heights, a boy says he remembers being murdered. At first, no one believed him. That is, until he led village elders to the spot where he remembers being buried. Mixed in with a group of village elders was a man by the name of Dr. Eli Lash. Dr. Eli Lash is known in Gaza for developing a government medical system. Lash witnessed all of these events. The villagers dug up the spot where the boy says his former corpse remains, and sure enough, there was a skeleton there. Mysteriously, a large axe mark on the skeleton corresponds to a birthmark on the boy's head. The boy says he was murdered with an axe, and then led village elders to the spot where the murderer buried the weapon. Sure enough, they dug up an axe. The boy then led people to the village he was from in his past life and told them of his previous name. When people of the boy's former home village were asked about a man going by this name, they said the man had disappeared four years earlier and never returned. Remember, the boy was three years old. But strangest of all, the boy recounted exactly who his murderer was. When the boy confronted his killer, the man's face turned a pale white and he started acting very suspicious. Once the boy led elders to the exact spot of his corpse and the murder weapon, the killer gave in and admitted to the crime, for which he ended up being charged with. Is the boy a product of reincarnation? Are we all perhaps reincarnations of our past lives? <laughs>